This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case The way you're putting work on me, just like a surgeon when you operate that face Hi everybody, I'm Baron Samadhi the Alchemist, aka The Baron I would like to thank you all for coming to my channel so today I am doing an actual spell for someone, uh, some work I should say for someone who has been having trouble uh, with people uh, bothering his wife, and uh, the brother reached out to me and it and it touched my heart. And I normally don't do things like this or put this type of stuff on my page, but for this particular incident, and he had to show me proof. I mean, when I say he showed me proof, what these people were doing, it, it was it was. It was heart. It was heartbreaking. So, uh, <clears throat> so I told him I'd give him something to do. Uh, I give him a spell to do how he can do this right now, and uh, so I'm gonna help him. So today, everybody, I'm gonna be making a hot box. Uh, but this hot box has a kind of twist to it, right? Uh, this hot box here, it, it can be buried at the end of the day. So once you, so once you get tired of giving that person payback, giving that person karma. I encourage you just to bury this hot box so you can basically send this person along their way, you know, so it's not like you're going to be torturing them no more. You're just cutting off all of their, all of the negative influence, the negative actions that they can have on you, on your personal, your life. You're just cutting it off. But before you do that, I'm going to show you how, I'm going to give you something in a way to torment them a little bit like they tormented you. This is just a straight vengeance without a real life killing somebody because if, if you do the wrong thing you can kill somebody period and the baron don't believe in killing anyone we do but we do believe in karma so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started so first of all family we would need uh just regular graveyard dirt uh if you don't know how to make regular dirt uh if you don't know how to make graveyard dirt or you don't know anybody who can make it uh you can go purchase some and the graveyard dirt is exactly what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to trap any energies from put a bear between your world and their world. So it's supposed to trap any negative energies uh, with the dead. Kill it. Done. Fire you for that. You know what I'm saying? So that. So you're gonna first thing you're gonna need. You're gonna need you some graveyard dirt. Uh, second, you're gonna need you just a regular bottle of vodka, gin, rum, anything to pay. Anything to pay the spirit for taking this offering to to them. Uh, lemongrass, nasty, nasty, filling lemongrass type stuff. We're gonna need just a pinch of gunpowder, not much, just a pinch. You'll see. I'll show you how we add it. We're gonna need alum. We're gonna need sulfur. You can, and this is stuff you can buy from the grocery store or your local botanical within your area. I like to use Original Botanica. It's an online store out of Brooklyn, New York. I mean, they they great. They pop an album. They got everything, man. Uh, they not paying me to endorse them. I I just want you guys to be able to get the supplies. So, big ups to uh, Original Book of Tanka, New York. All right. So, next we're gonna need black art oil. Let's face it, this is a dark spell. Next we're gonna use confusion. Then we're gonna use lodestone. It's a reason I get the lodestone. That's the reason I'll tell you about it. We're going to use a magnetic. The only reason I got low stole and magnetic here together is because they can be interchangeable. But if you got both of them, it's great to use both of them. But if you don't have low stone, magnetic works. If you don't have magnetic, low stone is better. Uh, we're going to use Ogun for this right here, right? Why are you putting Ogun in the cemetery? Why are you going to put him in a round graveyard? That's what he do. He sent people there. That's his job. That's all he knows. He's war. He knows how to fight. He knows how to tear ass. Patchouli, it's, it's just an accent to any spell work you do. Patchouli flakes, patchouli oil, patchouli shape. It's just, it, 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 it's an enhancer. Uh, and we can't go without the main man because this is who we are going to be using uh, for the doorway when it comes to this particular uh, spell. 
So we gotta have a leg bar oil. Next, we're gonna have hate oil. This is your intent. If you're gonna do a spell like this, I'm pretty sure you ain't doing it out of loving respect for the person. This is your intent, so hey, own it. Hate oil. We're gonna have some hot peppers. Let's put some fives in that ass. <laughs> we got some coffee. I put the coffee in here because I didn't want to show you the whole bag of coffee, but it's coffee, Greek coffee at that. Coffee of the gods. Uh, we're going to use, uh, again, a little gunpowder. Black twine. Got to be black. Got to be black. Got to be black. Can't stress that enough. Got to be black. Uh, we're going to use a lead. We're going to use a piece of lead because this is a karmic spell. This is not just a spell for you to for you hating somebody and, oh, I hate this person so much, I want to make them suffer. This spell should be doing on a karmic level. If this person is really bothering you, this is what you use. Paired with some of my other spells that I have on this channel, man, you can totally wreak havoc on somebody's life. And I don't encourage you to do that unless these people are wreaking havoc on, havoc on yours. You know, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. You know, a screw for a screw. But yeah. Then we're going to use a found bent nail, a bent rusty nail is good, but a found screw. This one came out of my tire, almost caused me to crash my car. So you know what? This is an unlucky goddamn nail, and I'm going to throw, I'm going to use it. Hmm. We got three pennies. One, two, three. This is payment two. Now we have a veve here. We're going to draw the veve of SU on here. SU represent karma. He was tasked with being able to, you know, to discern right or wrong and pay people back who do right or wrong, good or bad. And in this case, we're going to invoke him or not invoke him. We're just going to ask him to, uh, you know, do his thing. Now, here's the thing. The name of the person, because this is an actual spell, I'm not going to flip it over and show you the name of the person. But on the back of this partition right here, let me see, can you see it through? Good. You can't see it through. So you write the veve on one side, one veve, then another veve down here. I give you a good glance of it, that's quick enough. And then the person, you're gonna write that person name nine times on the other side of it. You know? And that'll be that. So once you write that person name times on nine name nine times on the other side, now we can start adding our various oils and stuff to the petitions or to this. The reason why you don't have to write a partition per se, tell them what you want, because what you're doing, this person's name is on here, and you're trapping that person inside this coffin where they can't do any more harm to you. They can't mess with your family. Boss man, this person ain't going to be able to touch your wife again. Your wife is safe after this. This, your wife is safe. Trust me. So, once you put the person's name on the back, you draw the babies on the front, name on the back, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna do this right here. You're gonna lay it back down. And you wanna gonna start adding a little coffee to it. Just put a little coffee. Let me tell you something about coffee. Using coffee in any kind of spell work is great, man. I mean, as something about this coffee, you know how many wars have been fought over coffee? You know how many people have died over coffee? Coffee is next to diamonds in the world of economic resource. After that it'll be water. Don't say the baron didn't tell you. So diamonds first, coffee second. Water third, trust me. Not gold. So what you want to do? You want to put a little, put a little coffee on that. This is fine ground Greek coffee, so it ain't got some heavy grains. So you can maneuver this the proper way. What you want to do? You just want to pat that down in there. Oh, by the way, I use a little Florida water on my hand. I bless my hand before I touch all this. I saved all the. The materials as well. So this is what you guys should do first and foremost. So you want to take that down there. And you want to fold this away from you. The reason why I'm not putting the oils on here prior. Is because I don't want anything to run. And second, the oils need to touch. The oils need to be like like virgin oil. It needs to drop on the car, on the thing hitting the actual box. Coffin, whichever one you decide to use. You don't have to use a coffin. I'm going to use a coffee because I just think it adds a little bit more flair, dramatic effect, and it, and it just adds to what, we, what we're trying to, the goal we're trying to accomplish. So we're going to fold it, trapping this coffee inside. 
We're going to turn it away from us counterclockwise. Then fold it again away from us. Turn it away from us again. Fold it away from us counterclockwise. Three times should be good. Now we're just going to take this black twine here. Let's get enough of it out. I don't know how to measure it. You guys are going to have to measure it yourselves. And essentially what the coffee is doing, what this person is doing when it comes to putting coffee inside their name, they're basically sealing their own fate. You know, they're basically taking their own gift to the gods, to the spirits, to the saints, whichever you prefer to call them. They're basically taking their own gift to them. And they've been saying, hey, I come bearing gifts. And the saint, and there's a letter. <laughs> There's a letter with their name written on it saying, well, okay, so you you, you bearing gifts. Uh, and they're going to accept the gift. And it's like it's just like that old thing, what Saul, what King Saul did in the Bible. Where he sent, he, what they used to do back in the old days, I should say. They would send the person, the king would send the person that they wanted to, the competition, the other people to execute. They would send them with a gift in a letter stating, hey, this is a king. I want you to execute this man for me on this behalf. No, no harm will come to you. Blah blah blah. And uh, and the other king or the other uh, generals of the army, they would do it. You know, and that would be that. So this is basically what the coffee being put inside the partition represents on the person. So from now you're just gonna take this person. And you're gonna lay them in this coffee. Boom. That's step one. Now after you do that, after you put the person in the coffee. You want to go ahead, you want to get you a dropper, and you just want to add a couple of oil. I'm going to call out the oil by name since people uh, be telling me I need to list my ingredients. If you watch the video, you're going to hear it, you're going to hear them very clearly. So first, I'm going to go ahead and take fire oil. This stuff smells bad once it hits paper. I don't know, it's like a, ugh, it just smells horrible when it hits paper. So you just want to drop a drop of fire oil on it, boom. Or the top of it. I gotta put the, remember to put the top on my orders. I knock them over and bam, that's that's just that. <laughs> so now you want to put lodestone. Remember I told you about that lodestone? Grab a little lodestone. Drop that on it. I just hate that smell, man. You want to take a little confusion oil. You see where I'm going with this, right? You got fire for heat. You know, this is making them think, stress. You got confusion, they won't be able to remember. You know what I'm saying? You got lodestone, all their burdens are just as heavy. Now, here you go, you got black art oil. Black art oil. Ooh. You gotta let the spirits know your intention that you're not doing nothing to bring home angels. You you saying, hey, I know this spell is a bad spell, but I'm doing this in order to protect myself and my family. You know, and for somebody to just go and maliciously do what this person did to this man's wife, it it, it was just unreal, unheard of. You know, there's some nasty people out there, and this all this man could do is reach out. Because he can't go strike her, you know, these are good people, you know, and they trust in this, so that's how it is. So now this is magnet oil, similar to lodestone, you can use that in its place. But if you got both, that's equally good. And I'm moving everything off the table as I, uh, out the way, as I do it. We're gonna just drop a little patchouli. I love the way patchouli smells. I love it. I don't care, I use a lot of patchouli because I need this to activate. <laughs> I need this to activate, baby. So while I'm while I'm doing this a little bit, while I'm prepping uh Ogun oil here, keep in mind he sent people to the cemetery, so why wouldn't he have a why wouldn't the message get to him to uh you know to go ahead and send a couple of send a, you know use his his armor, his arm, his war, his machete. 
So now these spells, these spells was basically spells like this was basically hoodoo, hoodoo. <laughs> oh shit! Don't fall, please. I'm sorry, Baron. Be good. These spells are basically uh, they were basically hoodoo. It came from not hoodoo. God forgive me. This is folklore magic, basically, sort of like Kabbalistic and folklore. You know, those two run the same. So, get, get, if you get to research a little bit of Kabbalistic, uh, Kabbalah research that is good for you. Uh, but these type of spells right here to punish your enemy spells, these type of things was done, you know, d during the the old slave sh the, uh, slave trade back in the day. You know, the 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 try to you know to try to stop the the slave bosses, and it was done the slave bosses and stuff. Uh, straw bosses, you know, the ones that work in the field, you know, to try to make them sick so they couldn't come out there to the field and whoop them and beat them and stuff. You, you would never use a spell like this on your boss or or somebody you employ with because the company could go out of business. I want to just state that disclaimer right now. This is used at people who's giving you a hard time. The slave driver, the straw boss, the overseer, the paddy rollers, all this type of stuff. And, and then this even goes back further to when it came back to the guards and the castles back in the day with King James and all them boys there. You know, the, the our Caucasian uh, magicians and brothers and sisters would use similar stuff like this, burying people in boxes along with chains and, and glass and knives and, and hot coals and charcoal, all the, this variation of it all. You know, just to get that person to make that person fall sick, make that person just like, have, just have a bad day, a bad day. They would, and, but these people would bury it to get that energy around. The person who has such a bad day, they would end up getting fired from their job or leaving town, you know, losing their heart, houses and stuff. And that, that's where this thing, type of thing come from. So, yeah, but to, now back to the oils. Now we're going to go to the main oil, which is hate oil. It is what it is, man. You you, you hating this, these people for doing what the hell they doing to you. Hell, I hate them for you. I want to show you how much I hate them, but... I'm gonna put a lot on now. Now, there we go. I hate them for you too. Let's get that out the way. See how I always knock these over, man. This stuff is expensive. So now we finna put the main man himself, aka Elect Bob. Nothing gold gets done without going through my man right here. Y'all better recognize. Well, I can't even fit my drop in him. So I just pour a little bit of him on now. There you go. Alright, so let me move this coffee out of the way. So now I'm finna just hit a little gunpowder in here, y'all. Just a little bit. We're not gonna like it. We're not going to light this gunpowder just a little bit. The reason of the gunpowder going in here, it's a discomfort. It's, it, it's supposed to inspire fear in the spirit that at any time something could pop off and this shit can be a powder keg. So this, what the, what the gunpowder does, it adds fear. And if you can't get gunpowder, only thing you got to do is just take a couple matches just regular matches and just throw them in there <laughs> just like try to feel just try to fill the coffin up with matches it's the same thing anything that can spark a fire it's all about the it's all about the representation of what's going on so now that we got our gun uh, we got our gunpowder in here you want to take some sulfur again the matches can substitute for uh sulfur and gunpowder because hey it is what it is but i'm old school i like to use gunpowder and and a little bit of the sulfur. You can get all of this from your local botanical. The sulfur is just that, give it that stinking, rotten feeling. Just make them smell it. They'll be smelling stinkness and, and fire and brimstone, bringing them closer to hell. You know what I'm saying? That's so they like to get in disarray. Then we're going to use a little alum. Again, this is alum straight from your local grocer. Dump a little alum in there. I mean, it's it's crazy how my grandma used to show. I used to see her doing this thing, and I used to pay attention. What you doing? She was like, "Oh, I'm fixing a bitch." You know, <laughs> she was like, "I'm fixing that bitch." Uh, why are you fixing them? What? Why are you broken? You know, I'm a young kid. 
I'm fixing that bitch, you know, she she know better do what she doing, they ain't gonna take me for a joke or Emma Lou. Emma Lou going through some shit and that bitch fucking with Emma Lou and my grandma was a cursor, it's Bayesian thing, you know, island. So she like that bitch fucking with, with my with my girlfriend, you know, the old people like girlfriend, best friend, girlfriend, friend girl, something like that. Fucking with my friend girl and uh, we gonna fix that bitch and she'll be in that kick. Go over there and go over there and break me off that branch over there and scrape it off real good now. And I have to script the branch and she'll add that to something and it was <laughs> grandma was a great person. She helped a lot of people by doing this the same way I'm helping. So now that we got our al our sulfur, our alum, our gunpowder, our various oils in here, now we're gonna take a piece of lead. Let me tell you something important to lead when you're doing spells like this. Lead is a karmic thing. You know, Saturn is element, is lead, all that good stuff. Lead is something to weigh you down. Lead teaches you a lesson. Lead is there to hold you back. That's why when you go fishing, everybody use lead and not a gold, not a brick tied to a string. It's lead because it drops in Inside the water, water represents spirit. It allows this to sink in your soul, lead. So you want to put a piece of lead in this box. Hmm. Now you want to take a nail, screw, whatever, rusty. If you can find a rusty bent one, that's great. If you just find a nail or screw from your local hardware store, make sure it's like iron or something like that. And just toss that in there too. This is what's going to be sticking them every day. It's going to be going in their tire, causing them causing them issues on their job. It's gonna be poking at them, scratching at them, sticking them. You know, just gonna be, this is, we're creating a nice scene of discomfort for this person. You're gonna take some pepper. Again, let's put that fire. You got fire oil, let's not put a little pepper on there. A little pepper flake. You don't wanna use too much, cause I mean, you're not gonna, you're not, you don't want the person to have ass itch. Or do you use as much as you want? <laughs> That's crazy ass itch, I'm nuts. Now we're going to get right here to the graveyard dirt. I will caution you using graveyard dirt, me personally, because I like to get my spells done the proper way. I'm going to use a little bit of this graveyard dirt, but you can use any kind of dirt. Seriously, I just use graveyard dirt because I just, I, I just know what I'm doing. I mean, I went through my trials and tribulation on collecting graveyard dirt. So from what I finally learned how to do it right, you know, <laughs> I did it, so I'm going to utilize it now that I got it. I will caution you going to the cemetery to collect graveyard dirt. You can watch one of my early videos about what happened to me collecting graveyard dirt just to give you guys a little more uh, detail on how serious it is if you're not doing it right. Find your local botanical, purchase it from there. Find your local uh, spiritual worker and ask him to give the sell you some, give you some or whatever. Just do it the right way. So take a couple, little bit of that, put that in here. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Now once we have that, I'm going to try to show you guys what it looks like. The actual finished product. I bet, oh, I'm going to tell you guys about these mirrors in here, right? The how I lined the coffin or the box. It can be done either way. This is like a hot box, right? How I lined it with mirrors. This is to reflect. If you have a picture of the person, you would want to throw that in here too. But since I don't have a picture of the person, he just gave me the name, I had to go a little more extreme with it. But if you had the picture with mirrors and all these here right here, man, you could wreak havoc on these people. So now we got the mirrors on, on that. Then we got the mirrors on the top. So when it's looking down, only thing this person is seeing, only thing the energy, the entity is seeing is 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 you and is who's ever in this box. No, they don't see nothing else, wreck nothing else. So then you want to pay him. You got to pay the spirit now. Three pennies because it's SU. Excuse me. All this stuff is coming to a head. It got me sneezing. This is how it is, man. It's, it is what it is. So you want to pay him. The last thing you're going to put in here. The last thing you're going to put in. You still want to pay him again. You want to pay him pennies and cash. And then you want to give him something to drink while he's there. Because while he's there, he's going to want to drink it. Because this is literally going to get buried one day. So you just want to open it up, pull, give a little bit to him, take a swig for yourself, not much, just a sip, let him know you ain't trying to kill him and you appreciate him and you having a drink with him. You know, we buddies here, I'm asking you for a favor, we can't drink, we can't do anything unless we break bread together, eat together, it's the same thing. Vodka, baby. Vodka. 
Put the lid back on it. Drop it in there. So we done paid it. Woo! Oh my God. Now you can seal the casting. The box casting, you can use either. The reason why I didn't put any symbols or anything on the outside of this coffin because you don't want nobody in your business. Everything has to go inside this box. Don't put nothing on the outside. Don't paint it black. If you, whatever color you get the box or whatever, this is all you got to do. You can do a hot box and paint it black and everything like that, but that's just if you're not intending to bury it one day. If you don't think you, if you don't think you're going to bury this one day and you're going to keep this person around and torture them, that's on you. That's on your karma then. This is just a little payback for these people. So, you put the lid on it. So now we're going to take some black twine, the same black twine we wrapped the person up. We're going to wrap this coffin up with it. And uh, the big, the, I mean, if you're doing a regular box, I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot easier than wrapping this. But you, you guys just bear with me while I try to, you know, wrap this. I did several of these so I know what it's going to take. It's going to, the rope is going to slide and slide, slide, slide. While you're doing this, I encourage you to read Psalms 140. You know, just read Psalms 140, say it out loud, have, you know, somebody playing it in the background. Just get a good wrap on it. Believe it or not, it may look like it's easy to wrap this. It's really not when you're doing a coffin because of the angles. You don't want to cover the whole thing. I'm just covering the whole thing because I'm just extra as hell. And I do a spell with somebody I wanted to work. I think that's enough. I don't think that person coming up out of there anytime soon. <laughs> so everybody, this is the finished result. This is your hot box via a coffin. But you can use any box. Uh, you can make it as big as you want. This is all the ingredients you need. Simple solution. So everything except that, uh, that graveyard dirt, is that's optional. I just use it because I want to. You can put regular dirt on this person. And you can even fill the whole coffin up with regular dirt, but don't fill the whole coffin up with graveyard dirt. This is bad, trust me. You end up, you know, scarring your soul for murder or something. You can call it the hot box, the pepper box, uh, whatever you want, the karma getter, the, the <laughs> karma igniter. I don't care what the hell you call it. Just know that whoever you put inside this right here, you got full control over how much agony this person goes in. The only thing you have to do once you do this, because you already paid the spirit, you already paid, the, I mean, you already paid the spirit without doing an animal sacrifice. You don't need that for this right here. And you already got things in here to make that person discomfort. He's on fire. He's agitated. He's tasting bitter shit in his mouth from Alan. The peppers are burning him up too. The nail is scratching at him. Uh, he's, and he don't know which way to look at but himself. You just take your time and just every morning you get up or whenever you feel the need. Shake that motherfucker up. Agitate everything in here. Let it hit him. Let it hit him. You can look like it. Up the body, everybody shake, shake, shake the mother, shake it all the time. I don't know that song. I just heard it when I was young. Thank you for front of the mask. But here you go. You guarantee hot box me a coffin. Certified, proper instructed by Baron Samadhi, the alchemist, a.k.a. the Baron. All right, everybody, I'm finna end this video. I think I talked a little too long. I tried to make it quick and precise because I know people going through things. So with that being said, I want to tell you guys, hey, trust the human universe. At the end of the day, you are you got. But at the same time, be careful when you're doing these spells because karma is a bitch, as you can see. Take care, y'all.